Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make these dragon themed cupcakes inspired by Game of Thrones. I've been a huge dragon fan since I was a little kid from Sleeping Beauty, Dragonheart, Reign of Fire. I love all those movies and I'm so excited with Game of Thrones. This season it sounds like hopefully we're going to see more of the dragons. They keep talking about how they're going to play a major part in the wars to come. So hopefully we'll get to see more of those this season. I'd love to hear from you. Please leave me a comment. Let me know if you're a Game of Thrones fan, who your favorite character is, or who do you want to see rule the Seven Kingdoms. Let's go ahead and get started on these cupcakes. To make the cupcake toppers, I'm going to start with chocolate fondant. You could also use modeling chocolate. We have recipes for both. I'll put a link to those videos in the description box. And we need to make an egg shape for each one of our cupcakes. So start with a ball and then work one end with your fingers until you work it into an egg shape. You don't need to worry if it's not a perfect egg shape. Just get it as close as you can. We're going to use these chocolate eggs for both the dragon eggs and the dragon heads. To give our eggs some simple scales, I've got a number 12 decorator tip and I've rolled out some really dark green fondant. I also have a really dark burgundy fondant I'm going to use. And all we're going to do is cut out a bunch of circles out of our fondant. And all we're going to do is take them, and we may need a little water. And we're going to start at the top, attaching the little circles to our egg. And as you attach them, you want to slightly overlap each one. Then for the next row, you want to overlap the row you just put on, again, just slightly. And again, overlap each other slightly. So you begin to get the scale-like look, and we'll do that all the way around our egg to the bottom. When you're done, this is what your egg should look like. I add a little bit of vodka to some food coloring, and I'm going to use it to paint on highlights to my eggs, just to make them look a little more realistic. Dragon eyes, I have some light orange and some light green fondant. I want to give the dragons different colored eyes just for some variety. I rolled out some orange fondant and cut out a small oval, and I'm going to use a little water to attach it up here to the head of my dragon. Now I've mixed a little bit of my orange food color with a little bit of vodka and I'm just going to kind of go over the eye with it to give it some different shadings of orange. So it's not all one color. Next I'm going to take a little bit darker orange and I'm going to go around the sides here and go around and make a round eyeball, if you will, in the middle. So it's lighter in the middle and a little bit darker around the outside of the eye. Now we want to give our eye a little more depth and detail. So I've rolled out a really thin snake and it's really thin at one end and gets a little bit thicker. And I'm going to wrap it above the eye like that. I'll cut it off about there. And then I'll do another one at the bottom. Now we're ready to put our scales on our dragon head. And again, I've cut out little circles of our chocolate fondant. And the only difference here is be sure to start around the eye. Get all the way around the eye with your scales. Then you can start working around the rest of the head. You don't have to do the bottom because that's going to be setting on our cupcake. And you don't have to do the back side either because that's also going to be covered with decoration. So here is our completed dragon's head. I gave it some highlights with some brown food coloring mixed with vodka and I also drew on a pupil. If you have an edible black marker that would be easier. I just used a toothpick and a little bit of black food color. 
Now we're ready to make the fire for our cupcakes. To make the fire, you need hard candy in red, yellow, and orange, and a parchment lined baking tray. Now this is the part of the project you want to do after a really bad day, is you want to put your candy in a baggie, grab yourself a rolling pin, and beat the crap out of your candy until it's in fairly small pieces. Now we're ready to pour our candy onto our baking tray. And I'm going to just mix up my colors. And we want to get it fairly even on our cookie sheet. And we'll bake this in a 325 degree oven for 7 to 10 minutes or until the candy has just melted. For my cupcakes, I swirled red, orange, and yellow batter throughout my cupcake to keep with our fire theme. In keeping with our fire theme, I've made some red, orange, and yellow buttercream. I'll put a link to our buttercream recipe in the description box. And we're going to use these to decorate the cupcakes for our dragon's head. To frost my cupcake, I'm going to take a little bit of each of my colors and put it onto my cupcake. And then I'm just going to swirl them together. Now we're ready to put on our dragon head. And I've started breaking up the candy that we made. I'm gonna find pieces of it that I like and build a little fire behind our dragon head. For the dragon egg cupcakes, I got kinda of lazy. So I'm using canned frosting. Yep, I don't use it very often, but you know, chocolate fudge ain't too bad. So we're gonna use that for the dragon egg cupcakes. And we're going to add our egg on. To make our cupcakes even tastier, I'm going to add some ground up Oreo cookies. And of course we'll add some flames behind our eggs. And here are our completed cupcakes. I really like the dragon head. I think it really came out really neat. I hope you enjoyed today's video on how to make these dragon themed cupcakes. Please join our channel. Be sure to tune in to Game of Thrones. We hope to see you back soon.